what is happening with the ice on Greenland. Hello friends, Jim here. Article appeared on the online publication fizz.org. Study reports enormous ice loss from Greenland Glacier. And here we see a photo of a researcher working on the ice on Greenland. That is the mow to and fro helicopter. And that uh, researcher is Ole uh, Zeising, uh, who is associated with the Alfred Wegener Institute. Ground base measuring devices, aircraft radar, operating the far northeast of Greenland show how much ice the 70 degree North Glacier is losing. According to measurements conducted by the Alfred Wegener Institute, the thickness of the glacier has decreased by more than 160 meters since 1998. 160 meters thinner in 26 years. Warm ocean water flowing under the glacier tongue is melting the ice from below. High air temperatures cause lakes to form on the surface whose water flows through huge channels in the ice into the ocean. Basically, the fresh water cuts its way uh, through the ice, eventually making it a bedrock, which can then lubricate the, the bottom of the ice sheet and uh, accelerate its movement into the ocean. One channel reached a height of 500 meters, while the ice above was only 190 meters thick. And this was an article published in the Cryosphere. So they you know, used uh, aircraft to uh, gather measurements, as well as in situ uh, examinations. The study examines how a global warming affects the stability of a floating ice tongue. This is of great importance for the remaining ice shelves in Greenland, as well as those in Antarctica, as instability of the ice shelf usually results in an acceleration of the ice flow, which would lead to greater sea level rise. Basically, if you lose the floating ice tongue, then there's nothing holding back the ice further back, and that just accelerates its movement back out over oceanic uh, waters. And that is the same is true, uh, you know, for uh, Arctic uh, land glaciers as well as Antarctic land glaciers. So the uh, the lead uh, scientist was the gentleman I mentioned earlier, o Ole Zizing, and he talks about using uh, aircraft radar data that that can determine the thickness of the ice. And the end glacier has changed significantly in recent decades under the influence of global warming. The study shows how the combination of a warm ocean inflow and a warming atmosphere affects the floating ice tongue of the 79 degree end glacier in northeast Greenland. Only recently, an AWI oceanography team published a modeling study on this subject. This data shows an extremely high melt rate occurs over a large area near the transition to the ice sheet. In addition, large channels form on the underside of the ice from the land side, probably because the water from the huge lake drains through the glacier ice, kind of what I was alluding to earlier. Both processes have led to a strong thinning of the glacier in recent decades. Due to extreme melt rates, the ice of the floating glacier tongue has become 32% thinner since 1998, especially from the grounding line where the ice comes into contact with the ocean. In addition, a 500 meter high channel has formed on the underside of the ice, which spreads toward the island. 
The researchers attribute these changes to warm ocean currents in the cavity below the floating tongue and to the runoff of surface melt water as a result of atmospheric warming. A possible finding was that melt rates have decreased since 2018. A possible cause for this is perhaps a colder ocean inflow. The fact that this system reacts on such short-term scales is astonishing for systems that are actually uh, inert, such as glaciers, said uh, Professor Dr. Angelica Humbert, who was also a researcher on this study. We expect that this floating glacier tongue will break apart over the next few years to decades. We have begun to study this process in detail to gain maximum insight into the course of the process. Although there have been several such disintegrations of ice shelves, we have only been able to collect data subsequently and you know, so on and so forth. Now, a little quick addressing this colder ocean inflow possibility slowing the melt rates. What is the Arctic Dipole doing? Because the Arctic Dipole directs circulatory patterns in the Arctic Ocean, directs ice flow patterns, and depending on which, uh, in coupling that with the Arctic Oscillation itself, that could of uh, for this time period, help direct warmer waters away from this location. And then when it, you know, when they flip their state, it could then redirect the warmer waters to this location. So it would be interesting to see if they looked at, if they considered the Arctic Dipole and how that may have an impact in this region. But the bottom line is, Greenland's ice is disappearing. And if you lose the glacier tongue that juts out into the ocean, well, there's not much holding back the land ice, and that just comes galloping along behind it. Losing ice at both ends. That will have serious consequences for the planet. Until next time.